I'm Bruno Massa with Scott Lamar here at Fabco Air. Now we're going to cover Fabco's grippers, their stoppers, swing clamps, as well as multi mounts. You know, first up are the grippers, and you can see there are a ton of different options. But the two major groupings are the angular and the parallel grippers. Yeah, why do we want an angular gripper? Why do we want a parallel? Well, that's the question I'm going to ask you. <laughs> well, there's good, there's there's reason for it. Angular grippers take, in order to get around a big part, take more swing. Parallel gripper, you can grip it with very low motion. So it's up to you whether you want an angular gripper that starts at 10 millimeter, goes up to two and a half, four. If you want a round or a square body, uh, you want high closing force, or if you want a fail safe, uh, we have all of that. Okay, so there's a ton of different options just within the two different styles. Exactly. And we have, uh, in parallel, we have the rack and pinion. We have the unit that's got four guide shafts and eight composite bearings. We go up to 402 pounds of grip force. Uh, the neatest thing is the Mac Daddy, the LPG. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. Well, this thing will go up to 21 inches of stroke. So let's say you had a machining operation where you had a 12 inch part and a 20 inch part. You can put one gripper, put it on your robot, it'll grip all of the different Parts. And you get that because of the long of the, how long the stroke is. So like a wheel manufacturer, for instance. Exactly. Okay. And that's a robust part as well. It is. That's uh, It's got four racks and two pinions. Okay. So that's kind of a brief synopsis on all of our grippers. Now, you've got also a lot of different options when it comes to swing clamps. Swing clamps, woodwork holding, weld fixtures. Of course, the units that go from 12 millimeter, of course, they'll be used in electronics, 63 millimeter, maybe in woodworking. You get into welding operations, you get into our heavier duty unit that's got three helixes and three ball followers. You can go to hydraulic unit here, 63 bore, hydraulic unit at 1100 PSI. You got 5,000 pounds of clamp force wow. in a 90 degree swing. If you can't use hydraulics, we can do a multi-power in our square body where we use a hardened helix, we pin it to the shaft, you got a right and a left swing in the same unit. We've even done up to 180 degree swing. That's pretty cool. Show them how that thing works. Yeah, this was used to twist uh, a customer's product, and it worked pretty slick. Once again, Fabco has got a big specialty line in terms of they can pretty much take anything to a specific customer's 50 needs. 50% of our business is specials. Okay, when you talk about specials and some other products, we've also got the stoppers over here. Stopper cylinders go from 32 millimeter up to 63, and we have a round rod, a non-rotating rod. Of course, we have the roller. And then we have the unit that's got a shock absorber in it. That way your part can come, impact, and then decel. A lot of conveyor belt usage. Is what exactly. We're yeah, that'd be in warehouses where they're sliding boxes down conveyors. As you can see, there are a ton of different options laid out in front of you right here. And if I let Scott talk, he would go on for hours about all the specifics, but there's no need to because if you want to learn more about any of the stuff we talked about right here, go to their catalog, call up one of their sales guys, or go to the website, www.fabco-air.com, and see how one of these products fits your needs.